Now let me tell you something. Something big is going down in San Francisco, and if you're a 49ers fan, you better sit up and pay attention. Because folks, what we saw Thursday night was no ordinary game. This was a declaration. This was the San Francisco 49ers stepping up, flexing their muscle, and making it crystal clear. They know what they've been missing, and they're bringing it back. Brock Purdy, that young quarterback, we've talked about him, we've praised him, but let me make this abundantly clear, he's only as good as the system that supports him. And in 2023, that system faltered. His play action rate, it dropped. From 2022 to 2023, and again from 2023 to 2024, it's like they forgot what made this team dangerous. Are you hearing me right now? Play action, people. That's the bread and butter of what makes Purdy tick. But heading into Thursday's game, his play action percentage was at a miserable 17.6%. 17.6. That's like sending your quarterback to a battle without his armor. But oh, Thursday night, baby, things changed. And let me tell you, it was about time. The 49ers finally woke up and ran play action on a season-high 29% of Purdy's dropbacks. I repeat, 29%. They were dialing up the play action, getting defenses off balance. And that is how you get 36 points and 483 yards on the board, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a coincidence. That's strategy. That's Kyle Shanahan understanding, if we want to win, we need to go back to what works. And what works is letting Brock Purdy cook off the play action. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Stephen A. Purdy didn't look as sharp as he usually does. And you're right, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, he wasn't flawless. But you know what? Even on an off night, Purdy on play action is a problem. His season numbers in play action still shred anything he's doing without it. We're talking 72.2% completion rate, 12.6 yards per attempt, 2 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. You see the difference? No play action. He's at 63.8%, 7.9 yards per attempt, 7 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. The numbers don't lie, folks. They just don't. But let's not sleep on what else happened Thursday night because, my friends, the running game? It woke up. And I'm not talking about a small improvement. I'm talking about 228 rushing yards on 33 carries. That's some smash-mouth football right there. That's a season high in yards and that, my friends, is what happens when you get your play-action game going. The linebackers, they're hesitating. The defensive line, they're second-guessing. And that's when you gas them. You want to talk about dominance? That was a dominant performance on the ground. And it's no coincidence it happened with the play-action game in full effect. But here's the thing, and I want you to listen closely. This wasn't just about beating Seattle. No, no, no. This was a statement. This was the 49ers telling the entire league, we are back, and we know exactly how to unlock our full potential. Because next week, you know who's waiting for them, right? The Kansas City Chiefs. And if San Francisco wants to keep the momentum, they need to bring that same energy, that same game plan, into week 7. Keep that play action going, keep those linebackers guessing, and you'll keep defenses on their heels. All right. Now let's dive even deeper because what we're talking about here is bigger than just one game. It's about the identity of the San Francisco 49ers. You see, for a team like the 49ers, it's not enough just to win. They have to dominate, they have to overwhelm, and they have to impose their will on the opponent. And folks, Thursday night was just the start of that. When you look at Brock Purdy, you see a quarterback who thrives in the chaos of play action. The defense gets sucked in, the linebackers bite, and suddenly, boom. Purdy is dropping dimes over the top, carving up secondaries like it's nothing. That's what happens when you respect the run and fear the play action. And let's not forget, this is a young quarterback who's still learning, still growing, but when he's got that play action working for him. The ceiling is sky high. But wait, let's talk about this rushing attack for a minute. Because when you rack up 228 yards on the ground, you're doing something right. That's not just a stat line, that's a statement. It tells the defense, we're going to run this ball, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. And let's give some credit where credit is due, the offensive line. These big fellas in the trenches don't get nearly enough recognition, but they were moving people out there. You can't run for 228 yards without domination up front. 
and with the play action in full effect, the defense had no clue what was coming. One second they're crashing down on the run, the next second Purdy's pulling the ball and launching it downfield. That's how you keep a defense on its heels. But here's the kicker, San Francisco's offense, when it's hitting on all cylinders, is a nightmare to defend. When they commit to play action, it slows down the linebackers. It forces the safeties to hesitate. And that's where Shanahan's genius comes into play. He knows that every second a linebacker hesitates, every moment a safety is frozen, opens up opportunities for big plays. Thursday night, it was a perfect storm. Play action was humming, the run game was rolling, and the result? Season-high numbers across the board. But what does that tell you? It tells you that when this team plays like this, there's nobody that can stop them. And let's not forget about next week, because all of this, the resurgence of play action, the domination on the ground, it's all leading up to a showdown with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I don't have to tell you who the Chiefs are, and what they bring to the table. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid, we know what they do. They've got the most potent offense in the league, they're the defending champs, and they're not coming to San Francisco to lay down and roll over. They're coming to fight. But guess what? The 49ers are ready for that fight. And let me tell you something, if San Francisco brings the same game plan they brought against Seattle, it's going to be a war. The Chiefs' defense has weaknesses, and Shanahan knows exactly how to exploit them. You get that play action going, you get the linebackers playing slow, and you gas them with the run game. Then, just when they think they've got it figured out, Purdy is going to hit them over the top. That's how you take down a powerhouse like Kansas City. Methodical, ruthless, and relentless. This is what makes the 49ers dangerous. When they play their game, there's no team in the NFL that can match them. They've got the talent, they've got the coaching, and now they've rediscovered the formula that makes them unbeatable. And folks, you best believe they're going to carry that momentum into week 7. Because if there's one thing we know about this team, it's that they're at their best when their backs are against the wall, when they're doubted, and when the stakes are at their highest. So buckle up, because the 49ers are about to make a statement, and they're not just coming for Kansas City, they're coming for the entire league. This team is on a mission, and if they keep playing like this, they're not just going to win games, they're going to win it all.